so brothers and sisters, this is tremendous. Look at this. In resurrection, he overcame Satan. He overcame Hades. He overcame death. And he overcame the grave. And there's a song we sing, death cannot hold the resurrection life. And brothers and sisters, death does not just come in the form of a, okay, Mike, boom, I kill him. <laughs> it's not just death. You know how death comes? Death comes in forms of just being discouraged, uh, complaining, being full of nothing but criticism, uh, reasoning, moaning, groaning, murmuring. Any of you ever have problems like that? Tell the truth. <laughs> we all do. How many of us need saved from death every day? <laughs> wow. This one is the Savior. He's the living one who saves us from death. When we see this, this is something to see. It's a revelation to us. Appreciate this and enjoy him as the resurrected one. When I first came into the church life, I was teaching school with a group of five other brothers. And every day when we drove, we drove in a Volkswagen van, and we did nothing but enjoy the Lord driving to school a half an hour and driving back when we did come back, nothing but enjoy the Lord, call on his name, praise him, sing, and uh, stop at bus stops, open the door, and sing to the crowd, and speak truth about Jesus, and sing Christ is put on human nature, and become a man like me. And brothers and sisters, uh, we were, when, you, when you see Christ, appreciate Christ, and enjoy Christ, you are not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Because you're not trying to just do something you're automatically one with the one who is good news. Amen. 